2K Sports welcomes you to the following presentation of the NBA. Great to have you with us. I'm Kevin Harlan, joined by Chris Weber and Greg Anthony. David Aldridge is our sideline reporter. And now the Lakers starting group. LeBron and Davis, the incredible forward pair. Russell Westbrook out there with Monk, and it's Howard in at the pivot spot, manning the middle. And for the Grizzlies, Brooks at the three with Jackson at the four. And then there's Stephen Adams. Then there's John Morant. Greg, we've got two terrific highlight-making teams, both athletic in so many ways. You know, it makes me harken all the way back to college and one of my teammates, Stacey Ogg, and one of the greatest athletes I ever played alongside. Well, we're going to see a lot of his impact in tonight's game. Now, here's Monk. The kick out to Westbrook. Lock at six. The shot, no good. And the Grizzlies going the other way now. Bain, and he buries that one, drilling the rim on the way down. Oh, what a pass from Moran. I mean, he does a terrific job staying alert and seeking those opportunities. And what an incredible shot in the arm for this franchise. The opportunity to draft a potential superstar in Ja Moran. And they had only a 6% chance of landing that number two overall pick. Here's Brooks following the basket by LeBron James. Morant against Westbrook. Two free throws coming up, and they call the shooting foul. They've had a lot of good players come through Memphis over the years, GA, but probably no one with Morant's upside. He has future league MVP potential. Once the three-point shot is consistent, once he cuts back on the turnovers, I just don't know how you stop him. The first one falls. And judging Morant's game early on, I've heard a few people with Allen Iverson comparisons. Well, put me in that number as well. That's, that's going to be tough to fill up, but it just means he has the potential, the quickness, the athletic ability, the IQ, the handles. They're both lightning fast, with slight builds, both tough. And you see the explosive ability to get to the rim and finish. I'm going to ask my boy AI what he thinks about the young job. And the cold start gets a little colder. Just one for four to start the game. Brooks misses. For Los Angeles, they've gone just one of four to get this game started. And the dunk by James. Well, with as much defensive attention as AD gets, the passing lanes will be open for him. And those are the passes he needs to make. He has a chance now to catch up with the fourth member of our crew, Hall of Famer David Aldridge. Well, Frank Vogel had a few minutes to share with me. I asked him about the task of slowing down John ja Morant. Coach said, the one thing you can account for with Morant is his explosiveness. Everything else you can plan for, but sometimes he'll just beat you. And Kevin, that's what they mean when they say, good defense, better offense. Back to you. Thank you, David. Grizzlies have gone two or three here to start out the game. Brooks against LeBron. Outside Jackson. Pass to Morant. The shot misses. So the Lakers will take it the other way. Here's Davis. Doesn't get it to drop for him. Some solid defense there from Jackson. Over to the wing. Bain, he's covered by Westbrook. Passes it to Brooks. Tries from 10. No good off the back of the rim. Outside Westbrook. Shoots over Morant. And again, no good by the Lakers. A good close contest so far as we finish the first quarter. Grizzlies lead by one. Live from the FedEx Forum, you're watching 2K Sports. And 
again, if you're just tuning in, it's been a pretty even game through the first quarter. What stands out to you from the Grizzlies in this one? What we saw in that first quarter, uh, they won their matchups defensively. Yeah, they really got after it. I mean, they made life extremely difficult for the shooters, which is why they hold this lead. And a chance here presented by Gatorade to see who's on the floor, all fueled up and ready to go for the start of the second quarter. So the Grizzlies five right now. Anderson is out there with Brandon Clark. Then it's Morant, and it's Tillman in its center. And the Lakers have possession. Following the miss by John Morant. Now the pass to Horton Tucker. Three-pointer. Grizzlies with the rebound. Morant surveying the D. Inside. Here's Clark shooting foul. As the whistle blows, he'll shoot two free throws. And one of the biggest surprises last year for Memphis, Brandon Clark, brought not only the energy, the rebounds, the block shots, he brought the three-point shooting. A player known for his athleticism, Clark's skill set may have been underappreciated by people and personnel. And not only the long-range shooting, Clark showed up with a terrific floater, hit his free throws. He even started creating for others by the end of last year. Looking at current NBA players, Greg, leaving aside the real star players, who would you love to have played with from this era? I mean, there are so many guys that, you know, and I hate to call them role players because they bring so much more to the table. But in reality, they got to fill some roles, right? And, you know, John Collins is a guy who's got great potential, a, a tremendous finisher around the, the rim. How about Robert Covington, a smooth shooter who, who defends his tail off. Davis Bertans, a, a deadly floor spacer who, who can put the ball down and, and create and make plays. So there's so many guys like that in the league that make a difference in determining whether your team can win or lose. Boy, those are three names I don't know that I would have mentioned, so I'm glad you did. And here is Los Angeles now. Following the miss by John Morant from deep. Reeves gets the bucket. Okay, listen, you got to body him up when he's in the paint. If you play off of him, then that's just two easy points. Anthony against Anderson to the inside. And the shot goes in. Well, this is the attitude Anderson brings, a selfless player who loves giving it up to his open guys. Anthony against Clark. Love to see him battling in there. Go get it, little fella. 59 seconds left here in the second. Melton feeling it out a bit. Pass to Anderson. Clark outside. Some nice passing there by Memphis. Takes a three. Memphis keeping it alive with a new 14. And here we go. Fast break. Ellington's got the ball. Anthony right side over Anderson. And it falls over the rim and in. Anthony's got the lead up to three now for the Lakers. And they're very lucky to have the lead after that terrible shooting in the first quarter. But they've rounded into form here in the second and, and have brought that field goal percentage up. Uh, well, you see the burst. Morant very hard to catch once he gains a step. Here's Reeves. Pass to Anthony. Over Clark. Again, Los Angeles. In the shooting form of Anthony, just perfect. He's dangerous with the catch and shoot and just terrific at scoring when in rhythm. So that'll be it for the first half. Fairly even battle underway in this one. Los Angeles on top, leading by three. We're going to step away briefly, but get you right back out here for the start of the third quarter after our halftime. The 2K Sports Halftime Show. Hey, welcome back to 2K Sports. Ernie Johnson alongside Shaquille O'Neal and the Jet, Kenny Smith. Let's get to it. A competitive matchup for the Lakers in the first quarter. Some good action during the period, as it was just a one-point game at the end of one. Looking at the second quarter scoring, they had a slight edge. They really worked hard late in the half. And let's get your thoughts, Kenny, on the Lakers. Well, we can't look past the work that their reserves have done tonight. 
there was a big difference between the teams in terms of points off the bench. And that could be a big factor in close games. But when you can lean on your bench for offense, it's a nice advantage. Shaq, your take on Memphis. This shooting rhythm was off, under 40%. Some and that'll do it for us. The third quarter about to begin with Kevin Harlan standing by. We'll catch you on the flip side. My brother. And we're halfway through this one. Plenty of basketball left in a game that's been fairly even so far. You have to like what we're seeing from Carmelo Anthony. He's done a fantastic job of finding open space to operate with, within the first few quarters. Yeah, the offense looks crisp, and guys are hitting their shots. Taking a look at the Lakers. LeBron and Davis, the incredible forward pair. Monk is out there with Russell West, and it's Howard in at the center, locking down the middle. That shows great imagination offensively. Morant has so many tricks up his sleeve. Okay, well, let's go down to David Aldridge for a report from the sideline. Hey, Kevin. That's John great. Morant says in an era of five-star recruits, he was a no-star recruit coming out of high school. And that put that big chip on his shoulder. Now he has beneath no one tattooed on his arm. He says, my dad always told me that I was trained to go. Basically, that I'm built for the moment. Guys, his time is now. Sure is, D.A., thank you. Bain, good and a nice assist from Morant. Five points in the game. And the lack of effort to fight over the screen there makes that an easy shot. Uh, we see this all too often. You have to be willing to put in the work. And the basket is good, and he's got a chance here for one more at the line. Well, come on, we all know LeBron is used to getting fouled, but it's just amazing how he keeps his focus. Such a powerful player. Los Angeles shooting their first free throw of the game. Second half just getting started, about a minute played. Bain. And foul on the shot. He'll shoot two at the free throw line. That one on Davis. And I like the fact that the defense is looking to protect the rim at all costs. The Grizzlies shooting their fifth and sixth free throws of the game. And if we want to take a look back, they converted about 76% from the line. He's perfect from the line this time. Greg, so many people know your story. Born and raised in Las Vegas. It must have been an amazing feeling then to lead UNLV to its only championship. I mean, Kevin, you know, playing in front of so many people you know has its pros and cons. Right. But to be a part of that 1990 championship team and the only one we've been able to hoist and to have my jersey hanging in that rafter, it's humbling. And, yes, it brings back a lot of fond memories. Like historically good, right? When you think of that team, what that meant, uh, it has a historic place. It, it does. We felt like we were able to etch our mark in terms of the lures of the game of college basketball. Now, here's Monk. He's guarded closely. And it's Howard finishing it off. It's a battle boxing Howard out. Too big, too strong. The Grizzlies trail by three. Morant passes to Adams. And no good that time. Good T by Howard. And he makes the bucket, gets the whistle, and now a three-point play chance here for him. They didn't have much of a problem getting the ball into the post that time. For Los Angeles, they have shot just one free throw earlier. One for one in the game. Definitely an area where they can improve. Only 73% as a team from the line last year. Anthony's checked in for the Lakers. Bradley comes in for Malik Monk. Free throw good, LeBron. For all those people waiting for LeBron to start showing his age, you might not want to start holding your breath. This man's got a lot of time left in this game. Brooks dishes to Clark. Back to Brooks. To halt the run. Kept alive. 
tries again. No good from Clark. The defense ready for him on that possession. They had to be because he is so strong in the paint. And it's slammed in by Howard. Now, this is the chemistry Howard has with this guy. He's fantastic at realizing when to go for alley -oop. A touch over two and a half minutes of basketball played here in the third quarter. Here's Bottoms. Passes it to Melton. This one for three. The Grizzlies with another miss. With one on the clock. And no good. The third quarter comes to a close. Lakers lead by eight. And we're just moments away from the start of the fourth quarter. Stay with us. And let's take this chance now to show you the State Farm assist of the game. And, and I'm glad this was the pick because I love this pass. Such a great dish. That's what I call court vision. Well, it's also called making a good read, understanding where everyone is and taking full advantage. Fantastic. And this is it. Glad to have you along for this fourth and final quarter. Bottoms is out there with Anderson. Then it's Brandon Clark. Then there's Dylan Brooks. That's the lineup in the game for Memphis. James, no good. And here's Brooks. He'll bring it up for the Memphis Grizzlies. Trailing here by eight. To the right side. Poked away. Out of bounds. The Lakers will take possession. A fantastic mobile one block. This one deserves another look. And they're determined to add to the lead, not with more offense, but with big-time D. And the Lakers making a change here. Davis has checked in. Los Angeles leading by eight. Here's Westbrook. Here's Anthony. And he can't extend the lead to double digits. The Grizzlies shooting terribly up to this point, just 30%. Some ramshackle offense play there, and the shot is good. Here's Westbrook. One fifty-seven left in the fourth. Anthony trying to get open, and that one's good. Westbrook. Westbrook's got the lead up to eight now for the Lakers. Physical defense possible. They could have called a foul there. But Westbrook, he's a beast. He just plays right through. And that one's good. Morant. And that's right in his wheelhouse. Looking to make an impact when it counts. This is why they go to him in these spots. I mean, they trust his judgment and ability to score down the stretch. Here's LeBron. And he could not get that one to go. A lot of contact. And he'll go to the line for two. The D is no shot of stopping James when he gets that low in that position. He's too big, too strong in the paint. He's got a foul. He hits the first one, and that increases their lead to six. Adams, he's checked in for Memphis. Jaron Jackson comes in for Bottoms. The Lakers also making some changes. Dwight Howard, he's checked in for Anthony. And Monks subbed in for Bradley. And he hits both free throws here. So now it's a seven-point game. Those free throws helping them to make the lead even safer. Westbrook against Morant. Bain. And he gets the whistle. Two free throws coming up. He drops the first one, and that turns the lead to six. Dylan Brooks, he's checked in for Kyle Anderson. And that one goes in. Two from the line that time. And 
good, aggressive basketball on that trip, drawing the foul, converting the free throws, and then also narrowing the gap. Los Angeles with another miss. Westbrook's gone two of seven from the floor. The drive by Brooks, and the ball goes out of bounds. Last touch by James. Now a timeout called by Memphis. They trail by five. 109 left in the fourth quarter of this one. And now let's present our New Balance player of the game, LeBron James. And he's just been crushing it from the field tonight, Kevin. Whether it's been on open looks or with the guy draped all over him, he just hadn't missed much. With his percentage in the sky-high range, they've had no choice but to make him their number one option on every trip. And we've got an update here, so let's catch up with David Aldridge. Hey, guys, I caught Taylor Jenkins' message to his team. He talked about X's and O's, but he also said, hey, guys, we got to trust each other, stick together, and leave it all out on the floor. We'll see if they've got enough left to get over the top, Kevin. Brooks with it. He's picked up by LeBron. Spins the shot and grabs the rebound. About as big an impact as you can have on a possession. Loads it up for Davis. Stolen away. Nice job to interrupt the alley-oop attempt there. About seven seconds separating the shot and game clocks. Brooks against Westbrook. And contact on the shot, so he'll be shooting free throws here. They get Russell Westbrook. Sometimes Brooks is a tough matchup for the D, especially when he's playing with some intensity and looking to score. Two. Good on both. Clutch. Those free throws turn this into a one possession ball game. Plenty of drama in this one so far. Yeah, don't be surprised if it isn't decided until the final buzzer. Yeah, you know what? Smart foul. You got to try and extend the game. And he cannot get the first one to drop. Tough one to miss. The second of two is good. That gives them a four-point cushion. Now a timeout called by Memphis. They're behind by four. 16 seconds left in the game. <laughs> 16 seconds left in the fourth quarter. Jackson kicks to Brooks. And another miss by Memphis. So it's Los Angeles taking the W in a close one. A truly gutsy performance away from home. You know, it, it really was. And Kevin, when this one was hanging in the balance late, they showed just what a tough-minded group they can be. It's time now to go courtside as we send you over to David Aldridge from the sideline. David, take it away.